You, you got to know how to say, I'm here, but temporary. And you said, building here, won't be here long. But got to defeat some enemies right here. Got to show some people who he is right here. And then I got to move on to bigger and better things. That's when some of you going through what you're going through. God is showing your enemy that he is yet God by allowing you to be going through something tough. But you still dance. Right? And some of you, you, you done been through some stuff to where the average critic thought it was over for you. Thought that trial right there, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's going to be the one going to take him right up out of him. Won't come out of this one. Again, even if you're in something tonight that looks like defeat, I'm saying to you, if you're in the will of God, that's victory. Why? There's no defeat in him. Right? And tell you, neighbor, we sometimes have to suffer in order to reign. See, some of you want to reign without suffering. But you have to suffer with him in order to do what? Reign with him. That's what calls a lot of people to, they judge a situation too soon. Don't ever do that. Don't, don't, don't ever look at what somebody going through and then just count them out. Or, or, or you say why they going through that? I'm telling you, she she must be doing something. That girl going through too much. Every time I turn around, she going through something. She done did something. She done did something. And then you see another person just look like they getting blessed. You think, oh God, with them? No, he ain't. They 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 in all kind of un, un, unnecessary debt, trying to look blessed. You know what I found out years ago? It's a big difference between being blessed and looking blessed. Looking blessed will give you a headache. Looking blessed will give you a heart attack. Looking blessed will keep you stressed out. But when you are blessed, you go through it without the stress. When I say to you I'm blessed, I'm not saying I don't go through things. Right? But I know God with me through all that I'm going through. I know how to stay in the will of God, okay? Y'all ready, ready to take it further tonight? As I'm going through hell and high water, don't stop. Keep, keep right on going. Keep right going to where God got, what, what he got for you. Just keep right on going. Some of us, some of us get in the middle of stuff and just, and just, just park. Just park. Just build a house. You hear me? There are some places you got to know how to put a tent up. You, you got to know how to say, I'm here, but temporary. And you say, building here, won't be here long. But got to defeat some enemies right here. Got to show some people who he is right here. And then I got to move on to bigger and better things. That's when some of you going through what you're going through. God is showing your enemy that he is yet God by allowing you to be going through something tough. But you still dance. Some of us still got our praise. Woo, you still coming up in here shout praising God. And the enemy is upset big time. He thought this last trial was going to take you on out. But you done turned your praise up. Lord, I mean, you done went out and bought some more shouting shoes. You done, you done went out and got another tambourine. You, now you, you see what I'm saying? Sometimes the enemy think we down for the three count. Bless it. This is what I learned in my life. Sometimes you ain't just down for the three count. You one, two, three. You out. Enemies rejoicing. God step in and say, it ain't over. No, no, no. He got the three count. I'm bigger than time. I control time. Time don't move, God. That's the reason it can be past the due date. But if you know you ain't defeated, you know some way, somehow, it ain't over till God. Well, I wish y'all believed that tonight. It ain't over to who says over. First Corinthians 15, 57. Y'all watch these scriptures now. But thanks, First Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God who gives us what? But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus who? 
and Jesus is Lord. So thanks be to God who's given us victory. Watch through the one who does not change. See, we get the victory because he don't change. And there's victory in what you're going through tonight if you're in the will of God because God does not change. Now, thanks be to God who always, somebody shout always, always. leads us in triumph in Christ or in the Lord. Thanks be to God, the one who does not change, who always leads us in what? Triumph in who? Christ. Always causing his people to do what? To do what? Triumph. Tell your neighbor, you can never be triumphant, you never be triumphant. Saving, saving you face the battle. Face the battle. No way to be triumphant without a battle. Anybody claiming to be triumphant is telling you they just defeated something. They just overcame something. This is a good teacher tonight. In order to be triumphant, you have to be to the point to where you have overcome something. You have defeated something that desired to defeat you and that makes you triumphant. But you don't give the credit to yourself. You recognize the only reason I was victorious is through Christ. Who, who Christ represent? The anointed one. See, God's anointing on your life as a believer guarantees you the victory. So tell your neighbor, you are anointed to be victorious. Tell your neighbor, it's in your DNA through Christ that you're victorious. We not just anointed to preach, anointed to shout. And anointed to dance. Here's my thing with some folk. I'm going to give it to you. You got an anointed dance. Ain't too many folk can dance like you. But listen, this is what church folk have a hard time recognizing. Not a different anointing. The same anointing. Will defeat poverty. The same anointing. Folk be up in the church 30 years, talking about they anointed and broke. Ain't got nothing. And those that have something, they struggle so bad that they have to do wrong to keep it, whether it's do wrong by God or other people. They always scheming to try to hang on to this, that, and the other. Come on, real deal talk. Same anointing that heals your body will be the anointing that'll get you a promotion on your job when, in fact, you really wasn't qualified. It was three more four ahead of you, but the anointing. The anointing on your life calls a man to look at you more so than these other three. And, and, and then determine that it's just something about you. You, 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 you. Now, you know what it is. It's the anointing. The anointing is what says to a person who's last, hey, time to be first. Not anything different happening through, through Christ, through the anointed one. He always causes us to do what? Triumph. Listen, that means we battle, but we always triumph. Battle in our bodies, but we overcome. Battle in our families, but we overcome. Battle in finances, but we over what? Nothing should always defeat you. Eventually, through Christ, you overcome. Who is Christ? Listen, yes, the anointed one. Let's take it further since it's Bible study. Christ, Jesus, is also the word. God in flesh. Emmanuel. Bread that came down from heaven. Oh, come on, somebody. Through the word, you overcome. Through the word. Through the word, you overcome. 
You defeat things that, guess what, again, wanted to defeat you. Can't. Why? Check it out again. Second Corinthians 2, 14. Now, thanks be to God who always leads us in what? Leads us in what? Do y'all notice that? Leads us in what? Leads us in what? Now, if I don't follow, God gives his people instructions for you to follow to be triumphant. But you get off in your own thing. He leads us in the triumph. He tells us what we need to do. Lord, I'm dealing with such and such. such, and such. Lord, how, how do I handle this? And then he gives you instructions. You put the instructions in action and get the victory. The times where we defeat it, like it or not, we on our own path. We doing our own thing. There are some of you out here, you being defeated by stuff, you have not sought God in reference to how to handle that. You're doing what you think you should do. And then sometimes we make one of the biggest mistakes, we're doing what we did the last time. Well, the last time, that may not be what God wants to happen this time. That may not be the way he bring you out. Last time he brought you out through overtime on the job. And you recognize, yes, overtime on the job, but it was God that opened up that door. Now you're in financial need again, and he may say to you, don't you do no overtime. And then they offer you overtime, but you got to follow God's path. You're going to turn down over time to be in his house to get the word that's going to deliver rather than being at work, working over time but never getting ahead. If some of you be honest, you followed your plan. Now look, look, that's what I tell people who robbed God. At the end of the day, you robbed him. So you kept the dime out of every dollar. Look at your life. Look at your life. You ain't doing no more. Sometimes folk leave the church. Well, I was giving all my money to that church. Now I'm I done left the church. Now, now I'm gonna do this. And then they get all excited with all their plans of what they're gonna do. And they only motivate it because they want to show the people where they left that they're doing better since they left. But because you are a fool, eventually your foolish ways are gonna manifest and you're gonna be who you are. I know I'm right. Y'all ain't gotta clap. <laughs> 